exactly is Ramsey Hunt syndrome and what is going on with Justin Bieber's face? If you're interested in finding out, keep watching. everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health and eye surgery. I am a medical doctor and an eye surgeon. And that is why I am talking today about Justin Bieber's face and Ramsey Hunt syndrome. Because a lot of people with this condition end up at my doorstep because as you can see, he had trouble closing his eyes and that can cause a host of different eye problems and complications. But before we dive deep into that, if you wouldn't mind taking a minute to hit that bell notification and subscribe to the channel, I would be so appreciative. So first, what is Ramsey Hunt syndrome? I saw a lot of news reports that said it's a really rare virus. That is not true. It's actually the same virus that causes chicken pox, varicella zoster, and it also causes shingles. So what happens with this virus is that it lies dormant in your nerve endings if you've ever had chicken pox before. And then it gets reactivated during periods of stress. Uh, sometimes if you are not feeling well, certain medications can do it as well. Basically periods when your immune system is lower. That causes the virus to then reactivate and you can get either shingles or like Justin has, Ramsey Hunt. And of course, I have to preface everything by saying I am not his ophthalmologist. I know he does visit Hawaii often, he's never come to my clinic. So everything I'm saying is in general with regards to Ramsey Hunt syndrome. I don't know the specifics of his case, but this is all with respect to just educating people about what this syndrome is. In people with Ramsey Hunt syndrome, the varicella zoster virus infects the facial nerve near the inner ear, causes swelling and inflammation of the facial nerve, and that causes all of the symptoms that Justin is currently experiencing. Now you might have seen when you Google things that some people called it a Bell's palsy. That's not quite accurate. A Bell's palsy is somewhat similar in that you still get a facial paralysis of half of the face, but Bell's palsy is reserved for when we can't find the cause for it. When you know that the cause is varicella zoster, then we call it Ramsey Hunt syndrome. So that's the difference between the two. So what exactly is the facial nerve? It's called cranial nerve seven. And the seventh cranial nerve controls the muscles of facial expressions. There's actually five branches to it. So you can see why he's having trouble closing the eye because that's one branch. He's having trouble with his nose right there and he's having trouble even elevating and moving his lips. Those are all the different branches of the facial nerve that have become paralyzed. So let's take a look at the video where he showed all of this. His eye is not blinking. I can't smile on this side of my face. This nostril will not move. So there's full paralysis in this side of my face. So usually what happens is you get severe pain in the ear and then you get these really painful blisters. They're called vesicles all along either the inside of the ear or even around the mouth and the tongue area. You can even get hearing loss on the affected side and then something called vertigo where the room feels like it's spinning. And then because that entire facial nerve is paralyzed, you get weakness closing the muscles of the eye, which is usually innervates the orbicularis muscles. So that helps you close the muscles. And then even just closing your mouth so food can dribble out of the mouth. He can have difficulty making expressions or even just fine movements of the face. So you can see why he needed to cancel his tour because it's probably really, really difficult to sing and to just be able to speak and eat and do a lot of things that we take for granted. So there is a blood test for the antibodies for the virus and likely that's what his doctors did to diagnose him with that versus Bell's palsy. Usually people will have like a viral prodrome, which just means they feel like they're coming down with a cold and then they start getting the vesicles and all of the other symptoms like the hearing loss and then the paralysis of the face. So what's the treatment? Usually what we recommend is steroids and then an antiviral medication, something called either acyclovir or famcyclovir. And typically we want to start these really early on because the earlier we start these medications, the better the resolution of everything is. So typically we'll start these treatments within three to seven days of people experiencing these symptoms. And then when they come to my door, it's because he has trouble closing the eye, that can be actually a setup for blindness. And the reason is, 
you really need a good blink to lubricate the surface of the eye. If your eye is continuously open, then it's going to be exposed to the air constantly and then it dries out. And it might just seem like, oh, what's the big deal about dry eyes? Well, that can actually be really serious and you can develop infections and even corneal ulcers, which can be potentially blinding if you don't take care of that. So usually what we need to do is put a patch on the eye so that it's actually physically closed and then use artificial teardrops throughout the day and even an artificial tear lubricating ointment at nighttime just to keep everything really moist and to prevent that exposure keratopathy. And that's just all the, the inflammation on the front surface of the eye that happens when your eye is exposed for long periods without blinking. So the things that are working in Justin's favor are the fact that he is very young. So usually younger adults like him have a better recovery. And typically Ramsey Hunt is characterized by complete recoveries. So I am hoping that Justin's going to have a speedy recovery and be able to get back to doing the things that he loves. If you guys have any questions about Ramsey Hunt or cranial nerves or anything like that, just drop them in the comments below and I will try to answer. And remember, hit the like and subscribe so I can keep producing eye health content for you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.